Hi guys, my name is TJ and welcome to TJ Smiles. Um, if you don't watch my vlogs, you're unaware that I got a new puppy, so that was Howie. He has so much energy and I doubt he'll sit still at all throughout this video, so I'm sure you'll see him popping in and out constantly throughout all the clips. But, welcome back to TJ Smiles. Thank you so much for stopping in because today I have my... June wrap-up. I almost said July, but it, it's not. It's... It, no. No, Taylor, no. My June wrap-up, I have four books to share with you. Well, three books, one graphic novel to share with you guys, so let's go ahead and get started. The first book I finished this month was The Unexpected Everything by Morgan Matson. If you guys don't, if you want a book review on this, it's already up on my channel. You can go check it out. I will link it in the down bar as well as it's in, you, you'll find it on my channel easily because it's a recent video. Anywho, this book follows the story of a girl named Andy who basically has her life set up. She is ready to go and it's all growing great until her dad, who's a politician, has some stuff like a rise to the surface and he... He loses his job, basically, he has to resign for a bit, and her summer internship gets pulled due to this, and, like, things are just going downhill for her. She has nothing to keep her occupied over the summer, so she ends up getting a job walking dogs. So, she's this newfound dog walker, someone who has no experience with dogs, picked up a leash, and started working for someone's dog walking business, and through that business, she ended up meeting Clark, who has, who is a very established young man. He has his career already set up. He's only a couple years older than her and sparks kind of fly with them throughout this book. So this book basically follows Andy's story of kind of learning to go with the flow and how everything in life can't be planned and expected. You can't plan for every aspect of your life. You just can't. And that the story, the book follows her learning that. It follows her and her dad rebuilding their relationship. So I thought that was a great storyline to put into a young adult novel because it's something very important that a lot of young teens suffer with, like not having best re the best relationship with one parent or the other. So I thought that was a great topic to have in this book, as well as it follows the story of her friends and friendships and how and friendships, your friends aren't always going to be your friends, like, forever. Things happen, stuff goes down, and in the end, your squad isn't always going to be your squad. So we just have all these great, crazy adventures with Andy and her friends, and Andy and Clark, and it's just such a fun book. I got really into it around probably page 200. I gave this book, I don't even remember, probably like a 3 or 4 out of 5 stars, I don't remember. I had some aspects of this book that I wasn't a fan of, but I discussed that in my book review, so if you're interested to see what I have to say about that, go ahead and check out my book review. No. 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 Howie, no. Number of the Stars by Louis Lurie. So this book follows the story of a family who ends up taking in a Jewish girl during Hitler's reign. Hitler is just becoming a power in this book and her family is about to be relocated. So this little girl poses as a family member into her best friend's family who also happens to be her neighbor. And like it's just it's a great story of how like you can just love anyone no matter who they are and like it's a great book, okay? It's very short. It's like not even 200 pages, I don't think. Let's see. 130 some pages. Not even 150 pages. It's a short, easy read. It's great for younger kids to kind of understand what happened during this time. And it was just, it was, I don't know. I've been wanting to read this book for a while, so I read it. I didn't do a book review on it because it's such a short little book. And like, I don't know. I, I wasn't overly thrilled with it, and I wasn't like under thrilled with it. It was just kind of a book I read, and like I don't have much to say on this, honestly. Towards the end of the book, the little girl does get reunited with her family because the non Jewish family, the family she was staying with, ended up helping her family and many other families end up crossing like a river into another country where they would be safe. So they did something very illegal despite. And all the punishments that could have happened to them to help save their friends because they knew there was nothing wrong with being Jewish and Hitler was... That man was crazy. Hitler, you're crazy, sir. Dang, dude. Quit eating my pillow. He's eating my pillow. Howie, that's not good. That was bad. Huh. Oh my goodness, another Morgan Matson book in this... I have just been reading so much Morgan Matson lately. I love her writing so much. I think I have one Morgan Matson book left to read. I know she's currently writing, but like that book needs to be published soon. Cause, 
oh, I'm, I just need more Morgan Madsen in my life, okay? But anyways, I read Amy and Roger's Epic Detour. This book follows the story of a girl named Amy who basically her father had died and her family was, after his death, spread out throughout the country in multiple different places. So she needs to drive from her home, which I believe she was from California, like all the way over, I forget what state she was going to, but to the other side of the country. Like she had to road trip herself to the other end of the country to end up going back to live with her mom. The only problem is though, Andy does not drive. She has not drove at all since her father's death. So her mom calls up an old family friend, an old neighbor boy that she used to play with named Roger. And Roger shows up at her house one day to drive her to her mother's across country. So Amy is not thrilled about this. She hasn't seen Roger in years. She's kind of socially awkward, a bit like me in that manner. And she's like, I'm going to be stuck in the car this boy I barely know for hours on end because my mother is making me move. Oh my gosh. Like Andy was not happy. And Andy and Roger, Andy. I'm talking about Andy again. Andy is not in this book. Andy is in the other story. Ugh. Amy is not happy that she ends up having to go on this road trip with Roger. She would rather just stay at home and eat pizza in bed. But you gotta do what you gotta do. So the two hit the road and very early on on the trip they decide, you know what? We're gonna make the best out of the situation, screw the plans my mom had set up for us to like where to stay, where to eat, where to stop, uh-uh. We are taking our own road trip and they end up going to like Yosemite National Park, they end up going to like Elvis Presley's, like is it Graceland, is that Graceland, I, I don't know. They go to his amusement park, like they end up staying a night at a college and going to like a college party, like they go to all these crazy things. They took the epic detour, let me tell you. And over the course of this road trip, Amy discovers that Roger has a bit of baggage himself. He has this ex-girlfriend that he doesn't really know if they're still a thing or not, and like Roger's still kind of attached attached to her but she hasn't talked to him in weeks now so Roger's trying to get over this Amy's trying to get over her father's death and throughout the course of this road trip the two end up kind of falling for each other but they fall for each other very close to the end of the road trip and the book just ends we don't find out what happens when Amy gets back home to her mother we don't find out what becomes of Amy and Roger like Amy just ends up dropping Roger off at his house and then going home to her mom at her new house. So like, there's all those missing pieces to the end of the story. Like, sequel. I know you write. I know you you write standalones, but like, duo, maybe please. I just want to know what happened to Amy and Roger. Okay, okay. Thank you. But yeah, great story. Like, 4.5 out of 5 stars. Really enjoyed it. No, I did not do a book review on this. I don't think I plan on doing a book review on this because. I read this at the beginning of the month, and if I was about to do a book review, I probably should have done it then, when all the stories, little details were fresh in my mind, but I didn't. I do plan on doing a great quotes by Morgan Matson from this book, so stay tuned for that. I will be doing all my favorite quotes and little sayings that happened in this book, doing a whole video just on that, because as you can see, I have many little tabs throughout here, and more in like my phone I took pictures of, so yeah, there is a quite a bit of quotes for me to talk about. I thoroughly enjoyed this novel. It was great. Great job, Morgan Madsen. Great job. You want a toy? You want a toy? Hi! Yeah, you got a toy! Good boy, good boy, good boy. Lastly, this month, I read a graphic novel, and I bet you you can guess what graphic novel that was. It was number two of The Walking Dead. This is volume two, Miles Behind Us. I enjoyed this one. Once again, there was a bit more swearing, and it was a bit more like I don't know, graphic, I guess, in this book? I don't know. Um, so, yeah, I, but still, like, the swearing aspect, it's still not bugging me too much. I know a lot of people say, like, for someone like me who chooses not to swear, like, it's a bit much, but, like, I go to public school. I'm around it all the time. My friends swear. Like, it's not... It's fine, okay? Glenn only had one death scare throughout this whole novel. I think he had two in volume one, so... Uh, just Glenn, I love him so much, I don't want to see him die. And, like, the comic books move so much faster than the television show. So, like, they had, at the very end of this book, they had found the prison they have arrived at the prison. Like, I feel like within the next couple volumes, the governor is already going to be present, and I'm going to be like, crap, I hate this man so much. And, like, Michonne will be coming up soon. Like, So, yes, as of right now, I do intend on finishing all the volumes as soon as I'm able to get my hands on volume three, because, you know, <laughs> it takes a while. 
Okay guys, that was all the books I have to share and talk to you about a bit. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Goodbye!